This is an 80 amp adapter, allowing you to charge at 19.2 kilowatts. We had this unit installed when we purchased our Tesla 2019 Model 3 Long Range, and it's wired directly into the breaker on a 60 amp circuit, providing 48 amps of throughput at 11.5, 11.6 kilowatt throughput rate. So in order to upgrade it, and this unit is a Gen 2 unit, which can do 80 amps, we would have to do two things. One, the breaker circuit would have to be upgraded from 60 amps to 100 amps, and this would provide continuous throughput of 80 amps through the uh, Tesla um, charger. And I would need an adapter that could handle 80 amps. There weren't many of them out there. Basically, the only one that I could find was what's called the Tesla Tap, made by Tesla. But now there's one by EV Dance. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's a pretty small box, um, which is nice because adapters can get pretty bulky. And we got instructions on the back. It's a pretty self-explanatory uh, build for the adapter. It's model EVJ102 with a throughput of 80 amps. Let's go and open it up. While I do so, I just want to talk about EV Dance. They contacted me, and I'm contacted with some regularity with vendors of hardware to review products. And most of the time I say no, I'm just too busy. But with EV Dance, I looked at their website, and the truth is if I was running a EV accessory company, I would probably want to have the product lineup that EV Dance has. When you go on their website and look, um, they have a very wide variety of many non-mass market items. For instance, this is not going to be used by the broader EV community. This is kind of a unique use case. It's going to be for people who have cars that can charge at 19.2 or people who want to future-proof their purchase and get something that can charge at 80 amps. Um, so it's not really designed for the broader market. Uh, the adapters that will go from J3400 to J1772 typically will tap out at uh, 48 amps. This one goes all the way up to 80 amps. So inside we have the adapter itself, very small form factor, which is nice. You can see the J3400 side and the J1772 side and a small instruction booklet. So there's really not much to it. We've got a locking pin, very similar to the A to Z unit. Here's a closer look at the instruction manual. As you can see right here, we've got 80 amps max and the name of it, not the model, which is down here, but the name they're calling not J3400, but they're calling it a Tesla to J1772 charging adapter. Here's a quick close up of the J3400 side and a close up of the J1772 side. My first impression is so far so good. It's got a nice weight to it. It's got a form factor that's pretty compact, which is always appreciated as you're hauling these adapters around. Because this is not a DC fast charger adapter, it's just using level two. The installation doesn't need to be as uh, heavy. Um, I am going to connect this to the car and hit it with a laser thermometer just to see what kind of temperatures it starts to read. Now, I know this isn't a DC fast charging charging session, but I have noticed with the adapter that I currently use, it does get quite warm. In fact, on really hot days, my Volvo XC40 recharge will start to derate the level two charging session because it gets too warm. So we'll see how this one does. So the engagement I have with EV Dance is pretty simple. The way it works is they send me products to review. I review them and I get to keep the product. I don't see any money either from EV Dance or if purchases are, are made with a discount code, I don't see any of that money as well. This is a very simple engagement. And I think you'll see that this channel's focus is not designed for me to earn money for my household. I'm just doing YouTube videos because electric vehicles are a passion of mine. And I'm basically doing all this research on my own anyway. Uh, so creating the video is very light work for me and sharing with the community, giving back a little bit. And really that's all there is to this. And EV Dance is a company that I consider to be in line with uh, what I would um, enjoy uh, the products of. And also I would assume other people might as well. So really that's the reason I'm making these videos. 
The uh, discount code is only able to be used on their website. Both the discount code and the website are linked down below in the description. And what you need in order to take advantage of the 80 amp charger adapter to its fullest is a Tesla source at 19.2 kilowatts, which is a little bit tricky to find, but as time goes on, uh, the thought is that will increase. Also, if you're trying to just uh, purchase a adapter that is future-proofed, uh, it might make sense to do this. And right now it's priced very aggressively. On the Amazon store, it's uh, $50. Uh, but using the discount code, which will knock 25% off the website price, brings the price down to $48.75. So you can get a better price than the Amazon storefront price. They're doing some kind of deal with the adapters right now where the 25% discount code is um, being offered and the adapters are very aggressively priced. I think that's a damn good price for a 80 amp adapter. <clears throat> Um, so if you're going to be looking to get the 19.2, the cars that can actually do 19.2 are listed here. The uh, Lucid, both the Air and uh, the upcoming Gravity. The Ford F-150 Lightning extended range only. And uh, Lotus, the company owned by Geely, the uh, Chinese car company. And basically all General Motors Altium cars have the option to include a 19.2. I drive a Cadillac Lyric 2023 debut edition and it has the 19.2 onboard charger. And there was some debate back and forth whether or not the um, Cadillac Lyric had the 19.2 just because GM at the time was making Hummers and the Hummer had a 19.2 and they just had extra parts and they didn't have the lower 11.5 kilowatt charger available so they just threw it on board or if they were trying to upgrade the features. And I personally think it's the latter because the Lyric has just a ton of upgraded features. The Lyric Debut Edition has a ton of upgraded features in it. So that's my personal opinion of uh, why it's there. But regardless, it does have the 19.2 and all I have to do is upgrade my home's EV charger circuit to 100 amps and I'll be able to do that. So once again, the discount code and the company website is listed down below in the description. Okay, enough talking. Let's go ahead and do some electric vehicle charging. First thing, in the unlock position, I'm going to slide the adapter on and then lock it. Cannot be removed. Seems nice and secure. For the J1772 side, there is this clip, which we'll be utilizing. This is not going to get the full 80 amps. What we're basically testing here is compatibility with the Cadillac Lyric and also that we're getting the full 11.5. I just heard the connector uh, make connection in the Tesla wall connector. Let's take a look inside the Cadillac Lyric, which is a little bit difficult to estimate how much energy is actually passing through because they don't have a very clean representation of kilowatts being received what they have is a little charging graph that you can estimate from but there is an, a kilowatt uh, input on the energy map which i'll switch to right here let me close the door and sure enough we are getting 11 kilowatts okay and to disconnect is very simple you just release and out it comes you'll unlock the tesla side and take it off and actually what i find i just leave it connected all the time uh, because we have two j1772 cars in our garage so i never use the uh, j3400 uh, connector natively assumedly once the new cars are processed through and we get new cars at some point in the future that will no longer need the adapter but at this time we do let's go ahead and try the volvo Okay, on the Volvo, what we're going to be testing is compatibility, but also, as I mentioned, heat. The other adapter I use gets very hot. Let me get a quick reading. Okay, so that is basically ambient temperature, 83 degrees, which is just what the temperature is here in Charlotte, North Carolina today. And what we are going to do is allow this to charge for, I don't know, 20 minutes. And I'm going to see how hot this thing gets, because I know from touch 
what the other one gets to, and I'll be able to tell if it's cooler or hotter, and I'll be able to get a reading using the laser thermometer to what the actual temperature is. Let me confirm that I am getting a good charging speed. Okay, you can see right here that my amperage setting is set to 48 amps, but I'm still only getting 46, which is a little concerning, but not too much. Anything over 45, I would consider to be a success. And we'll let it go ahead and heat up, and then we'll take a temperature sensor and just submit it. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, and there is no sense of heat on this adapter whatsoever. I'll take a reading in a second, but with the other adapter, it becomes almost too hot to touch around this time. And I'm still getting 46 amps in, but maybe because this one's rated for 80 amps, there's more insulation or something. I don't know, but there is no sense of heat whatsoever. Let's go ahead and get a temperature reading. Basically the same temperature, which is the outside ambient air. That is pretty good. EV Dance 80 amp adapter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.